Hello. Yeah, all right. Oh, we're nearly in December. Christmas is getting closer, eight. And my birthday, 21st of December. So it won't be long now. Um, thanks to Tom O'Connor for this, who reminded me of this great theatrical story. Now, Rupert, St. John, Peterkin, Penkridge, Claridge, Anions, little lad, never knew me granddad Sam by name, but the posh child did sit next to him one snowy December afternoon in 1957. It was down at the Tividale Tivoli Theatre. You'll probably remember it, in Bottom Tividale, near Dudley. Uh, the theatre was next door to St Michael's Church, wore it, and the annual pantomime was on. It was Cinderella, and the star was that great entertainer, Max Bygraves, and he was playing buttons. Um, Cinderella was played by Shirley Eaton, who would soon become famous in a few years' time in Goldfinger. And Laurence Olivier and Torby Trinder, well, they were the very, very ugly sisters, were they? And Anthony Quayle um, from Tibbidale, he was playing Prince Charming. And, of course, every time he come on the stage, all the audience would go, do he look like little Billy Williams from Aston Road, Tivy Dale? But it wore him. Now, it was a Wednesday afternoon, and as usual in them days, Dudley Grammar School was shut on, on Wednesday afternoons, um, and it replaced it by opening on Saturday mornings. Even when I was there from 1961, it's still shut on a Wednesday afternoon and opened on a Saturday morning. So, um, little posh. Rupert, he was there in the audience dressed in all his grammar school uniform, the lot he had, including short trousers and the school cap, the lot he was wearing. And he was sat next to his mother. Um, she was a well-known debutante and socialite, the Countess Esmeralda Maria of Portwail and the Northern Isles, the uh, Ptarmigan millionairess. And the family was very rich, very posh, and very toffee-nosed. And they lived in the biggest house along the Oakham Road, near Dudley. And it had a paddock for a pony and a very large croquet lawn. Now, Grandad Sam watched Rupert open his small, posh, leather briefcase. And in it was his sandwiches. And also in there was a lightly boiled, truffle-dusted, Ptarmigan egg. Watch them sandwiches, Grandad Sam, asked little Rupert. Leaning across, the Countess Esmeralda butted in with, Ah, they are Rupert's favourite. Anchovy and aubergine, with the crusts cut off, of course, and then cut into delicate triangles. Now, Rupert, he also had a small silver tankard and it was filled with Vimto, wore it. So they sat very near the front. Grandad Sam had got his ticket from a boxing pal of his called Warsaw Willie. And the panto went very well. It was very funny. All the stars was extremely good. And it got to that bit, you know, in the haunted forest. And Max Bygraves Buttons did the business very well with Tell me when you can see the ghost. You will warn me, will you? Only he did it in proper English day. And uh, you will warn me when you see the ghost, will you? And the, there was the usual loud shouts of, He's behind ya! He's behind ya! He's behind ya! And, of course, Max Bygraves would turn around a few times and, of course, nothing was there, so it would carry on. You will tell me when you see the ghost, won't you, children? Oh, yes, we'll tell you, Max. Maxi Buttons, he was called. He's behind ya, they shouted. He's behind ya, again and again. He's behind ya. And the audience was shouting it out, and Max Bygraves, playing his part as Buttons, would look round, and of course, he wouldn't see anything, and they'd start shouting, He's behind ya. Look, he's behind ya. Well, Rupert was loving this war. He was jumping up and down, and he was pointing and yelling, He's behind you. 
he's behind you, he's behind you. And after a few minutes of this, the Countess Esmeralda had enough and she leaned across to Rupert and she said, uh, Rupert, darling, please stop shouting. It's very, very common. He's not listening and it's obvious the man's a complete idiot. Ta-da, Rupert. Stay out the Oss Road. Thank you, Mother, for the pilings. That was very good. I must go and get ready. I'm going down Dudley Port tonight. I'm switching on the lights, are they? Um, red, amber and green. They've got three this year. Red, amber, green. Ooh, do old. Do off all the traffic up, don't it? Anyway, I'll see you soon. Ta-da, Rupert. Ta-da.